problem with the generation gap is the gap. The gap, if you like, is sort of similar to a game of snakes and ladders. But the problem today, and probably has been for a long time, is that there are far more snakes in this game than ladders. The game of snakes and ladders actually originated from second century, sorry, second century um, from India. Its original name, Pamparada Sompanyam, meant the ladder to salvation. It was invented by Hindu spiritual leaders to teach children the rewards of good deeds and the negative consequences of bad ones. The snakes originally represented vices such as lust, anger, murder and theft. And the ladders represented virtues such as generosity, faith and humility. And originally, there were less ladders than snakes to remind children the path of, that the path of good is more difficult to tread than the path of sins. And also, it's assumed that the hundredth square rep represented nirvana. If you follow the metaphor, the ladders are a join in the, in the generation gap, and the snakes are a break. But unlike snakes in the ball game, where the players always slip to the tail, in the generation gap game, the parents stay at the head and the kids stay at the tail. The beauty of the ladder in this game is that parents can come down the ladder without any penalty and join their kids. Or they can help their kids climb up the ladder, which has many advantages, and join them at the top. The parent's role is to put ladders everywhere and far more in, than in the original ball game. Kids don't want to be carried up the ladder. We are not going to learn much by being carried. We want to know that we have climbed up and seen what's there, and then decide whether to stay or not. So I'd like to spread the following idea. We need more ladders. So many more than snakes. Please carry plenty of ladders with you at all times, and when you experience a snake, in the game of the generation gap, replace it with a beautiful new shiny ladder. Thank you.